Kanye West, Milo Yiannopoulos, Nick Fuentes, Donald Trump, what the fuck is going on? Here's what we know so far. Milo, having gone under the radar in recent years, but more recently worked for Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, has been enlisted as an advisor to help Kanye run his 2024 presidential campaign. Earlier this week, Kanye met Trump at Mar-a-Lago and was seen walking through Miami airport with Nick Fuentes. The Daily Beast reported that while Ye had dinner with Trump, Fuentes was not present at the event. But that's not what Kanye said. Ye posted numerous clips to his Twitter last night to teasing his presidential run. In one of them, Kanye says that Trump was really impressed with Nick Fuentes. So Trump is really impressed with Nick Fuentes. And Nick Fuentes, unlike so many of the lawyers and so many people that he was left with on his 2020 campaign, he's actually a loyalist. Other reporters are still claiming that Fuentes wasn't at the dinner with Trump, but Cassandra Fairbanks reports on Tim Pool's website, multiple people, including Milo himself, confirmed that Fuentes was there. Nick attended the dinner and sat across from the president. I sat to the president's right and yay to his left, said former Trump Florida campaign manager Karen Giorno. The president was by himself for dinner but invited Ye to meet some people on the patio. But there's more. Apparently Trump wasn't best pleased when Kanye asked him to be his running mate. Trump was most perturbed about me asking him to be my vice president. Trump then began insulting Kim Kardashian, upsetting Kanye. Then he goes on to say that Kim is a <laughs> You could tell her I said that. And I was thinking like, that's the mother of my children. And the whole tone of the dinner then went south in a hurry. Trump starts getting edgy, antsy, fidgety, and angry. He can't get them out of there fast enough, the source told Fairbanks. The night apparently ended with Trump very keen to see Ye, Milo, Fuentes, and their entire entourage leave the building. It's real. Everything you're feeling is real. It's 2015 again, and the best is yet to come, Milo posted on Telegram. Is this all further proof that we live in a simulation? Is Kanye running for president only going to draw independent votes away from Trump and help Democrats win? Does all this chaos bolster assertions by some on the right that Ron DeSantis is the best Republican candidate? And if so, how on earth is the Florida governor going to overturn polls, which although tightening, still show Trump defeating DeSantis in a hypothetical 2024 Republican primary by 46% to 28%? And how badly is the regime media going to shit the bed? when they find out Donald Trump met Nick Fuentes. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. It's no exaggeration to say that things are getting scary out there. The Biden administration has already printed more money in the past two years than the previous 100 years combined. The national debt just hit a record $30 trillion. And inflation is the highest we've seen since 1982. If you have retirement savings, your money could be at serious risk. They're basically burning your cash, torching your family's financial future. Are you gonna let them destroy everything you've worked for? Are you just gonna sit back and become a victim of the deliberate decimation of your living standards? Are you just gonna submit and eat the bugs. Ugh, don't do that. Or are you going to take positive action by safeguarding your economic security? Talk to my friends at Goldco to see how you can protect your retirement with gold and silver before it's too late. Go to paullikesgold.com and they'll give you $10,000 or more in free silver when you open a qualifying account. That's paullikesgold.com. You've seen how much I get demonetized. The best way of supporting me is by supporting my sponsor. So click the link in the description for paullikesgold.com.